for these two clubs. The starting 11s line up as such. Rashid Nuhu, very experienced in goal for Union Omaha. He's been with them their first two. On a night like tonight. Again, both these clubs, champions of their respective leagues last year. Omaha, champions of USL League One. Moyne Menace, champions of USL League Two. Thrown together for round one. They only had three days of training before that first round victory, and just a few days before this one as well. Yeah, I think Omaha would have, have loved to have the U.S. Yeah, both teams have a... Nearly a turnover there, and it just had to be smothered by Grant McKayla in goal for Des Moines tonight. Both teams have, have a lot of new players, but it's interesting that Des Moines have recruited the likes of Rosenboom, who was also involved with Miami FC, and they made some big performances in the Open Cup, also defeating MLS teams. I think it was Atlanta they defeated in the, in the U.S. Open Cup. So... They have a legacy of actually recruiting players who have a reputation of being big hitters in the US Open Cup also. Head coach, but I think they'll be okay as the season, season progress. See Des Moines Menace, 13 victories in the US Open Cup since 19. And now the group is just getting started. If they give away the possession of the ball so needlessly, they're gonna give Omar opportunities to score goals and build possession and confidence. Back to the top of the 18 yard box. In Omaha keeping the pressure on and a shot from distance forces a sprawling stop from Michaela. Ambitious effort and it was on target. That was well struck by Dion Acock. That was well to beat the defender there and that shot has a little bit of, of dip on it. So although the goalkeeper makes it look easy, it probably wasn't as easy as, it, as he made it seem. Michaela called into action there for Des Moines Menace. Overlapping run. Uh, clipped into the back box toward that near post, but well read and gathered by Michaela. Hit it with the goal. Union Omaha have looked dangerous every time they've come forward in these opening 16 minutes. Just saw how dangerous Des Moines Menace are. Talk about open cup chaos, we could be in for another night of it here. Remember, if we're level after 90 minutes, we go to extra time and penalties. But right now, it's the Menace who are in front early. Over in that position to then have to make the tackle to give away the corner, and then they get punished from the set piece. And we all know the set piece is a lot of goals are scored from set pieces, especially at this stage where you haven't had the chance to, to gel so much. So much to everyone involved. Now Omaha looking for the lead, and that's another ambitious effort, skidding along that quick Morrison Stadium turf. And this surface can be very quick. Again, it was Michaela sprawling to smother that shot. He does well, very well in here, cutting in from the left side. Low driven shot, but the keeper does well to get hold of it. I think uh, they'll want to get to halftime and address some of the issues that they're having on the left side of defense and try to secure it and, and stop Omar being it. Well, Kamatani could have made contact there on that volley. You need to be careful giving away free kicks and fouls in and around the 18 yard box. Saw a shot there a moment ago with the Red Army supporters group Des Moines Menace. Behind. Kayla, not in a hurry to take that free kick. Again, this side would like to get to halftime now if they can. So Joseph Brito with another corner delivery. Trying to put it toward that near post. Still alive. Omaha claiming a handball, nothing given. Referee not interested. Attack continues. Kamatani punched away by Michaela. Well, Hugo Kamatani's been off target a couple times. He was on frame that time, but Michaela was equal to it. Goalkeeper makes it look easy, but that's, a, that's not as easy save as he makes it look. Hanging in there through 45. Yeah, and I think the, the one step they could do in this impact in this game, I think they just need to stay in it as long as they can before the coach gets the opportunity to make his substitutions. They get a little chillier, of course, as we get deeper into the evening. That wind's been blustering. Shoot from there in the first half. Now Skiers lets fly. And that was blocked down by Kareem Riley and out for a corner. And the goalkeeper, Michaela, was flying. Yeah, you could see Michaela fully dive for that ball, believing it was going to break through, but defender did a good job to get his body in the way. Looked like a good strike. In. Love 
to maintain some possession and some of this momentum away from Union Omaha, but it's still 1-1 entering the draw in round three. Brings opportunity for everybody to compete against a high level. Certainly the owners of these clubs would just love if they got a home draw against an MLS club. Here's Akoff stealing the ball and playing in Kamatani down the left. Kamatani's cross toward that back post. Akoff still loose. How did that stay out? Oh, somehow it's still 1-1. Incredible. Wow, what a goal line clearance. I actually thought there might have been a handball in there somewhere, but they've done tremendous for this score to still be 1-1 right now. Let's see that crazy sequence a moment ago. How did this not wind up in the net? That there, what wow. a save, Michaela. The goalkeeper makes two fantastic saves. I thought when the cross came across, that had more time to take on his chest and take a strike himself. He lays it back into the path of his teammate, but the goalkeeper does phenomenal in that situation to keep his team in the game. Yeah, and to your earlier point, I think there was a handball, but it was by the keeper, so that's all right. <laughs> but it was tough to tell at first. It happened so quick, you just yeah. saw it, you just saw it just fly across. Whose arm was that? <laughs> it appear it was Michaela's. An intent to press, win the ball, great goal scoring chances, take as many shots as they can in the final third. They started the second half very brightly. Defender was able to bail them out. Yeah, Neville Morgan came off him last. It's a corner for Union Omaha. This corner starting to pile up for the Owls. Brito, outswinger again. This time solidly headed clear. There's Michaela coming out to claim that aerial ball. We're told Des Moines getting two subs ready. Off goal, so no, it looks like a substitution that could be provided very well. Head coach Dean Johnson call, called him this week. He's one of the top goal scorers in, in a Union Omaha has to know as much as they're dominating this game with Alessandro Salvadego up top for a Des Moines menace, they are always a threat on the counter. Yep. Turn dominance into goals. And Union Omaha trying to do that here. And trying to flick that backwards toward goal was Alex Bruce. It came off the front of his forehead instead and fell harmlessly away for Michaela to gather. Yeah, that's a great opportunity for Bruce just to flick that one towards goal as the goalkeeper was coming out, but he didn't quite get the connection on it that he would like to. Completely free header if Mazel lets that go. Easy to say from here, but heavy challenge. Now Akoff, what a takedown that was. Good cross. And it's sent right at the goalkeeper. Michaela knew nothing about it until it bobbled into his hands. What a play by Akoff and what a cross. And again, it should have been 2-1. Goalkeeper finds himself in exactly the right position this time. He's just well positioned to receive this. Straight down the center, goalkeeper handles it fairly straightforward. Turning possession back over to the opponents. He's a trying to chip it over the top for Bruce. Kayla puts it right back in play. Right. Tick down to two minutes of the 90 remaining. Forward by Michaela. Kept in play by... He didn't give away. Yeah, there's an angle. Now Montes Dioka trying to put it away, but it ran away from him. Michaela claims it. It's just about last chance time for the Des Moines menace. Can they get it forward one more time? Trending so well over the course of the night. See our final match stats, and you see the overall dominance.